And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. The show has an NL East matchup. It's the Philadelphia Phillies and the Washington Nationals. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So almost ready to get underway and starting this one, Mackenzie Gore. What's the scouting report on him? Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. Okay, all set to go. And digging in for Philadelphia, the Trey Turner. Trey Turner. And the pitch in the air out towards left center. He's got it. And there's one down. Let's take a look at our lineup. Chris, this is a lineup offensively that could be really good for years to come. They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team. And I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing teams, especially in a big game, big series. Whit Merrifield, the next to hit, takes ball one. Check nope. swing, no appeal. Two, Two and, oh. and oh. Hard hit, left side. Abrams tosses the first. Play is made, two out. Batting third, the right fielder, Brandon Jordan. So two down now, and here is Brandon Jordan. This guy with big-time power and an elite defender. Pitch nope. misses, 1-0. Okay. Oh. Two out, space is empty. Next offering is in for a strike. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. And another ball. Close with that one. Three balls, two strikes. Payoff pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. Two outs. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Ruiz makes the catch, and that'll do it. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. Now it'll be Washington's turn. It's a scoreless ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back in Washington, D.C., and on the hill in this one, Aaron Nola. Last time out, it just seemed like he wasn't trusting his stuff. He fell behind in the count, walked a number of guys. Today, he's got to pitch aggressively, and he's got to pitch inside. Bottom of the first, and now for Washington, C.J. Abrams. The pitch. That's in there, and that is strike one. We're, we're watching a pitcher in Nola that flew through the Phillies minor league system. He was drafted in 2014 and made his major league debut the following year. You can't ask for much more from the seventh overall pick in the draft. Man, the scouts got it right. Righty to the plate. Out to short. And a quick out, number one. 
as we take a look at the Nationals lineup. A really frustrating showing for them in their last game. Lots of traffic on the bases, but they left a ton of runners on base. Couldn't cash in their chances, Chris. They had plenty of chances. There's nobody to blame it on but themselves offensively. They just did a poor job converting in those situations. You have to figure out what's your plan going to be. Maybe watch some tape from the last game. Make the adjustments. Oh, so out. if you get those opportunities in this one, you've got a much better chance of scoring some runs. And that one is lifted in the air. Schwarber makes the grab. And a couple of quick outs. That is third. The first baseman. Two outs, bases empty. Joey Manessis digging in for the Nationals. In the first pitch, misses for ball one. Just missed. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. In for a strike. And it's two and one. And there's a rocket into the outfield. And that keeps the inning going. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Nice job no, of driving good. that pitch. The other way on the line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages, working on going to the opposite field. And it doesn't always translate into the game. But right there it did. And he did it perfectly. Here's Eddie Rosario. Oh, that's and that's off the inside edge. And that is ball one. And the righty deals. Foul ball. One one now. And that one wrapped foul. Two gone, but the go ahead run is at first. Here in game one of this three game set. Bounce it off, still one and two. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Manessis around second, headed for third. Lead runner gets the stop sign at third. It's a two out double, second and third now. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. And now it's Kiebert Ruiz. Pitch nope, misses. One Ball one. and fires this to center field makes the grab and that ends the inning so the Nats leave a pair scoreless after one and welcome back to the ballpark here's the left fielder Kyle Schwarber you know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Gore back to work. Popped up right side. Under it. And there's one down. That is good. The designated hitter. Yeah. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. First pitch misses.
I see you win. One ball, one strike. One out, base is empty. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Calls it in, two away. Batting fit, the third baseman, Alec. Two outs, base is empty. Bohm. Here's the third baseman, Alec Bohm. That nope. one inside, inside, ball one. No score here in the second. A little out front there as he swings through it. One ball, one strike. Two down, nobody on. Yep, that ball went out. That hey. one finds the zone. Two balls, two strikes. That's excellent location on the fastball right there early in this game. If he can do that all game, should be a good outing for him. Three and two now. And they'll do it again. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. And here it comes. Hot shot to third. Tosses across oh. the first. And the Phillies are set down in order. No runs, no hits, no errors. Now to the bottom of the second. No score. And we're back. Leading Ready to go for the, the last goal. half of the inning. Here's the, the second, second baseman, baseman, Luis Garcia. Garcia. And the right hander back to work. Fouls one off out of play. Back to our left. One fouled off. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. Right-hander kicks deals. Ball that one missed. He's dealing with a great two-strike hitter two right here. The strikeout is not automatic. That one the other way. Turner zips it across and quickly one away in the second. Not a depth. A dedicated hitter. Here's Lane Thomas. He was hitless at four at bats yesterday. On the ground to third. And it's through for him. So a man aboard now with one away. Waste no time there. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit. Oh, he got enough behind him to shoot a through for a knock. And you'll take that any time you can get him to find a hole. Now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. One gone runner at first. Up now for Washington, Ildemaro Vargas. 1-0. Not even close there. And it's 1-0. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. There's a ball. Real neat throw. throws. Not in time. It's a stolen base. You know what? I like the aggressiveness right there. It looks like it's going to be tough to score in this one. Really good pitching so far. So why not try to put some pressure on him and see if he can steal the bag, get in the scoring position. The pitch. And a foul ball. pitch that's a strike and the counts even at two
And it's second. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. And now it's Victor Robles up to hit. On the ground, Turner. Fires across oh. the diamond. That's the third out. Inning over. Nationals leave one. We'll move to the third with no score. Apron, so I ain't saving you a clean house. Do you think that's just a statement? Then you loot a Chris like it's word of mouth. I ain't new to what I'm about. Back here in Nationals Park. And now the first baseman, the first Bryce baseman, Harper. Three. Bryce. Harper goes six Harper. feet, three inches, 210 pounds. Can't forget to mention he's a former MVP. As the lefty gets to work, ball, ball one, no ball. strikes. There's a strike. Cold night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they creep it into my mind right now. Left-hand hitter waits. Swinging a foul straight back. And the pitch. Popped up, foul territory behind the play. And he makes the catch. And there's one down. JT Real Muto steps in. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. Whoa. First pitch doesn't find the zone. When you got a catcher like this guy with a big arm like that behind the plate, it really shuts down the running game. That's oh. down and in. Well, I'll say this as a former position player and base stealer. When you come into a game and you've got a guy like this behind the dish with a big arm, you really have to change your approach. You can't try to steal because you'll get thrown out. Maybe get a little bigger lead, be aggressive on the secondary. But this type of guy shuts the running game down. Nice. Strike two. Top of the third, no score. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. That's one way to quiet the crowd. His second of the year, the Phillies score first. It's 1-0. The one thing the pitcher didn't want to happen just happened. That's not an easy one to stumble. pitch he wanted to hit spit on some other pitches in this at bat was very patient and it paid off we'll say Siri will hit next right through there for a strike Siri getting the start in center 28 years old and they traded for him earlier this year. And a pitch. One and one. And it's fouled away. The belt and fires. In two the ball. dirt, it's two, two and two. We that one way count. inside. Straighten him up a little bit. One out, base is empty, and a run in. We're here in the top half of inning number three. And it's no, ball, ball four. He missed down low. The batter, number seven. Trey Turner with a chance now. Trey. Third baseman playing Turner. on the edge of the grass looking for the sack bunt. Step off throw to first. Siri back in on a dive. Nice. 
And that one is in for a strike. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You've got to make sure that you feel the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. Rudder takes off. Strike hey. in there. And he throws it away. Lead runner around second. And they won't get him, there. and he goes first to third on the error. Didn't look to me like he got a great handle on the ball as it came out of his hand. Good nights, not really fun to play in, and it makes it tough to hit as well. Makes it tough to throw, and might have played a factor right there. Here's a high chopper. Tosses to first. Turner is out. The battle of the with Merrifield up to the plate, grounded out his first time. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. He's in there for strike one. Not sure if he was expecting for the pitcher to come right at him, but he got a nice cookie there and just watched it the entire way. Rudder at third, two away. Ball nope. one there. The Lifted in the air, out to left. Rosario makes the grab, and that's the inning. So the Phillies strike first with a solo home run. And the home team down a run. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Bottom of the inning, Leading here's C.J. Abrams to hit. Not shortstop. C.J. The right-hander back to work. Ball and ball one. No one. In there at the knees. And a count even at one. And a pitch. And there's a ball. Chase that time. Three balls, one strike. The wind of the pitch. Fouled off. He was late. Three two. In the air, center field. Sizing this one up. Brings it in. And there's one down. Now back. The right field. No. So digging in, Stone Garrett. Yeah, He's right. over one. Garrett in his second season. Batting second in today's lineup. And he was drafted in the eighth round. Back in 2014. The 01. That one fouled off. One down, base is empty. To the right side. In plenty of time to first, and there are two outs. Now batting. First base. Joey Meneses digs in now, and he's already singled in this game. First oh, pitch, and he just misses. On the ground to the left. Sends it across the first. That ends the frame. Three up, three down for Washington. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Back in Washington, D.C. As we go to the top of the fourth. Now it's going to be Brandon Jordan. Gore back to work. 
Oh. Just off the outside edge. That's one and and that's ball one. Well, these Phillies showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. Line to left, and it stays fair. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. 0 for 1 so far. Way high. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. The 1 0. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. Lead runner makes the turn at second, and now runners at the corners, nobody out. Back-to-back -back singles just oh, kept it simple. Played pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Nick Castellanos stands in for the Phillies. 0 for 1 as he popped out foul to first. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. 0-1's the count. No outs. Runners at first and third. Here's the swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. A gigantic blast. His first homer of the year, and they add to their lead. It's 4 0. That one just sounded different. And might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the booth. Pitcher, the odds are in your favor if you keep that breaking ball down. That time, he got punished for it. But he just did a really good job of staying within himself and getting the ball to the baseball. Alec Bohm stands in for the Phillies. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. Ball oh, wow. one low. It can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. He swings and fouls one off. The lefty ready and a 1 1. That's ball two. Just missed. We got two balls, one strike. Just missed. And a 3 1 on the way. That one hit to right. Garrett sizes this one up. One down. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay paper, in the three. head, but going to work right. at the next hitter. And a tough one Harper. at that. Here's Bryce Harper. Goal for one. Popped out foul to the catcher his first time off. In the air to left down the line. And that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And he'll pull in there with a stand-up double. Plate is JT Real Muto. He's already homered here in this one. Ball, and that's off inside. the inside edge. 1 and 0. Oh. Man at second. Fought off foul.
the one one and there's a foul ball the pitch swing and a miss struck him out now two out well when you commit to throwing an inside oh, fastball to your glove side across the strike zone especially with two strikes if you're going to miss you want to miss off the plate in you do not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate so that was excellent execution on that pitch really tied him up and he couldn't get a piece at all right side hard hit Manessa steps on the bag. They limit the damage here. Bills get three on this long ball. It's now a four-nothing ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Eddie Rosario. Rosario. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Nope. And a good eye there. He's been pitching All well, one, no but fight. we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. Bounce to the right. And it's through for a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Next to hit for the Nats, Hebert Ruiz. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. There's the strike. pitch foul ball runner at first with no outs here popped up Turner should have it squeezes it and there's one away that was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had no pretty bad. good timing Number on two. it. Just got underneath Second it a little bit and popped it up. Luis. And now it's yeah. Luis Garcia. Rounded out his first time up. Hey. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Man at first, one away. Next offering is in for a strike. Quickly in an 0-2 hole, you're going to have to give something up here in terms of power if you want to put the ball in play with any authority. That's a little bit low. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Righty delivers. Soft contact in the air. And a base hit right there. The throw in. And he's out. He comes up fiery, and there was an anticipation and kind of an excitement when the ball went in his direction that he was going to have an opportunity to throw somebody out. And that's the attitude that aggressive and good outfielders have. Now the DH, Lane Thomas. One for one with a single so far. Wouldn't oh, chase that time. Two outs. Foul ball there. Here comes a pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Oh, 
good loop. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Three. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. So one left for Washington. They're on the short end of a 4 nothing score. New inning getting started. Here's Trey Turner. The shortstop. Trey Turner. The pitch. That That's misses. Ball. ball one. You know, these Phils doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. One thing that really stands out to me is how they've only struck out one time. That's good discipline right there, and on top of it, they're producing more than a hit per inning. Swings and misses. And one it's ball, one and two. two All those numbers mean this offense is really making the defense work by just putting the ball into play. Anything can happen at that point. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. Dave Martinez is ready to dive into his bullpen as he comes out of the dugout to make the change. Mackenzie Gore won't go any further, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. The pitcher on please. here, Trevor Williams. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work ahead of him. Best case scenario oh, might yeah. be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. So up next, Whit Merrifield. Oh. Now it gets away from Ruiz. He's into second easily on the wild pitch. And there goes the double play possibility. You know, sometimes it takes a reliever a little time to get comfortable with the mound out there, especially when they come in trying to be nasty with every pitch they throw. Not exactly what they were looking for when they called him in, though. We'll see if he can settle down. And the right-hander deals. Hey. Runner at second, nobody out. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. And that'll fall for a base hit. And they get it in quickly. First and third now with nobody out. Now Hitting is really easy right for field. some guys. One thing that Brandon. I can see already is Jordan. bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Yeah. Jordan at the plate for the Hold third on. time as he comes up empty there. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, or maybe a long relief guy, to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself oh, comfortable. Out. Action in the pen down there. Mason Thompson looks to be getting ready for Dave Martinez. Runners at the corners, nobody out. And we're at the top of the fifth. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Robles makes the catch. Runner tags from third. He scores on the sack fly. It's 5 0. Now back, left field, Kyle Schwarber. Here's a big power threat. Kyle Schwarber, one for two. First offering, runner goes. Pitch in for a strike. Safe at second with a stolen base. 
clearly not content with the lead they're working with right now, and I like that. I don't think you can get comfortable with a five-run lead in today's game, and now they've got a good chance of adding on. And he deals. Runner on the go again. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Man at second. That one, one not close. Going to count one and two. Left-hand batter waits. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. a miss and he's down on strikes he didn't make it easy for him on the mound but they still get the strikeout well that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count and as a pitcher it really allows you to start expanding the zone hitters become defensive and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide and what happens is because of the pressure you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is and that's what leads to the strikeout Nick Castellanos stands in for the Phillies. Aye. Swings through that one for strike one. All one's the count. Right-handed reliever. Hard grounder into the outfield for a nod. Merrifield coming home. He'll score. It's six nothing. I love how he let that ball travel, yeah, right. trusted his hands. Oh, nice job of going that way. Oh. Runner at first with two away. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Alec Bohm. First oh, pitch that? just misses. Two outs. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. Throw into third. And the throws offline. Safe at third. Up next for Philadelphia. Really the good swing right there. He got a pitch right. that he knew he could handle. Perfect. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. First and third, two away. Bryce Harper to the plate. That one missing inside. <laughs> Lifted in the air, right center field. And makes the play, and that's out number three. So it's two runs on four hits. No errors and a couple left on. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Philly six and the Nationals nothing. And we're back. We head to the bottom Washington. of the fifth. And now up for Washington, Ildemaro Vargas. The wide to kick the pitch. 
Well, every pitcher oh, wants high. run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead. Oh, now this is blasted way back there. On its way. all over again. Here's Victor Robles. Grounded out his first time. And that one a little bit high. One run across in the frame so far. Last half of inning number five. This one in the air right field. Jordan on his way over. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Now and there's one down. Shortstop. CJ. So the lineup flips over. CJ Abrams digging in for the Nationals. Washington still oh, right here. Nola throw to first. No, he Abrams back easily. And the first pitch misses for ball one. The Phils leading by five here in game one of this three-game set. There's the strike. That's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation, runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. Kicks and deals. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Another yep. ball. Righty to the plate. Roll to short. Could be two. Turner with the throw to first. That's it out. Now that first base. So two down now, and here is Joey Meneses. Out to short. Turner with the throw to first. Inning over, and it could have been worse. One in the inning, and it comes from a rather unlikely power source. And this is now a 6-1 ball game. Back here in Nationals Park, here's the speedy catcher, JT Real Muto. It's interesting, he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Headed down the line, and a foul ball. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. 
And here it comes. That's inside, Exercise. and it's one and one. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely, and I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game, it would surprise a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field. Abrams snags it, and there's one now down. Batting. The center fielder, Jose Siri. Jose Siri stands in for the Phillies. I think when you contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed. If he can get on, that's going to give one more thing for that pitcher to think about. Base is empty one away, and we're at the top half of the sixth. Field two. And down on strikes he goes, and there's two away. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Trey Turner at the plate. One for three. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Whoa, and that's man. off the inside edge. And one and one. Swing and a tapper. Whips it to first on the oh. run. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Three up, three down for him there. To the bottom of the six we go. 4-5-6 coming up. It's the Philly six and the Nats one. Well, we go bottom six. Now the Washington. left fielder, Eddie Rosario. Rosario in his ninth season, 32 years old, and he was drafted in the fourth round back in 2010. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. And now the catcher comes up to him. Hebert Ruiz. Ground ball to ball. Two up, two He's down. Up. The bat. The second baseman. Luis Garcia. And the batter now, Luis Garcia. In there at the knees. Boog, that hook's looking pretty sharp today. Just a solid pitching performance so far, and I really think it's because of that curveball. And a pop-up on the left side of the infield. Brings it in for the third out. And the Nationals gone in order. They trail it 6-1. Top of inning number seven. And now for the Phillies, Whit Merrifield. Williams back to work. Liner to second and picked on the hop to first. Oh. And the leadoff yeah. hitter set down to open the seventh. Up next for Philadelphia, the right fielder, Brandon. Jordan. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Brandon Jordan. 
this is a true five tool guy not very many of them out there but when he's on the field you can't take your eye off of him first pitch misses fans come to the ballpark to watch him play and in baseball to have such a talented player going out there every day and putting on the show that he does just a joy to watch. No not close with that one and that's ball two it's for average power the ability to feel the arm and then the speed really impressive that one spoiled and the count now two and one And the righty deals. And he hits a ground ball right side. And he takes it himself for the out. Up next for Philadelphia, the left fielder, Kyle. Kyle Schwarber stands in for the Phillies. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. Just missed. Two down, nobody on. Here at the top half of inning number seven. On the ground, right side. Slings to first. Schwarber out of the play. And the Phillies are set down in order. Down quickly, go the Phillies. They lead it, though, 6-1. of the seventh Leading digging the in Lane Thomas the designated hitter Lane. the right hitter back to work up oh. and in and that's ball one Count one and oh and, and that's in for a strike in this situation, you expect the batters to be a little more patient, possibly take until they get a strike. With that, you don't want to miss your opportunity to get ahead early in the count. He didn't right there. On the ground, Merrifield. And they oh. get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Up next to Washington, the third baseman, Gildemaro. Gildemaro Vargas digging in for the Nationals. He's already home to this game. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. Just missed. The Phillies leading by five. Here at the bottom of the seven. Missing low. The two two. And that's in the dirt. down base is empty and that's too high ball four it wasn't easy but he earned that walk after a long at bat well he's starting to look a little gas to me we'll see if they go to the spot or not victor robles digging in for the nationals pitch misses there and it's one to know And delivers outside. Pulls that one foul. That misses. 
Three balls and a strike. Oh, they have had a hard time scoring in this one. The pitcher out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. Here comes a 3-2. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Two down. The batter, the shortstop, C.J. Abrams. Back to the top of the lineup, C.J. Abrams. Digging in for the Nationals. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh and 0-1. One. Oh and one. Kicks and fires. And that one wrapped foul. Two outs. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Just oh, misses no with that one. And a one, two. Three. Swing and a miss. And he got him. And that is that. Nationals leave one. The lead remains five. It's 6 1. And welcome back to the ballpark. We go to the eighth. And now Nick Castellanos. And a pitch. Wouldn't oh. chase that time. Ah. Swing and a miss. Strike one. He's been great in this right. one. Eye hand coordination just failed him a little bit right there. Misses oh, off the play. Out. And it's two and one. Good nope. eye in that That's spot. Inside. Three, two. That one That's misses. Awesome. So a lead off walk. Leading off for Philadelphia. Down the third baseman, the third Alec Bohm. Alec Bohm. Rolled to short, possible two ball. Off balance feet, Out. there's one. And that's two. Well, almost any time you roll over and send a two ball to short at this level, you can pretty much count on a double play. Middle right. infielders are just so reliable, Perfect. and they work on these plays all the time, so it almost becomes like second nature. And first offering is fouled off. Right-hander kicks, deals, and it's fouled away. Two down, nobody on. Whoa, that just that misses one and two to count. I wouldn't say the game's close right now, but it's not out of reach either. And these pitchers really need to put up a zero on the board just to maintain a little hope. 
foul ball. He stays alive. Two outs. That's outside. Now two and two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And another ball. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game-winning run. I love his tenacity. The pitch. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Ninth pitch of the at-bat due next. Swings and misses, and it's a three-up, three-down inning. Back in Washington, D.C., and now it's going to be Stone Garrett. The wind of the pitch. Nola nope, at the ball. still out there to pitch the eighth and working with a big one, lead. No He's been excellent, really on his game in this one. And at this point, he wants to finish what he started. The 1-0. -oh. Is there a debate to be had about shutting him down, maybe to preserve some bullets given the score? Absolutely. When you consider over the course of a long season, guys putting a lot of stress on that elbow, on that shoulder, but you also have to pry the ball out of a hand of a guy like this because he's so competitive. The bat pulls it down the and he makes the catch. Joey. And a quick out number one. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter will look like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an yeah. easy out for the defense. Minnesis, batting with one down, takes a strike. Next hey. offering is in for a strike. 0-2 now. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The Phils leading by five near the bottom half of the eighth inning. Next ball, pitch is now. outside. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A-B going. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. One down, base is empty. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And the pitch. Now this is in the air down the line. Jordan snags it for the second out. The left fielder, number eight. Eddie. Two outs, bases empty. Run. Eddie Rosario. Rosario now at the plate. That's one. off the inside edge. And that's ball one. And ball another ball. Two down, nobody on. You're in game one of this three-game set. There's a strike. Now two and one. Well, he went inside a couple of times, and now outside. Hitter's not exactly sure where to look for this next pitch. And batter waits. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Now on the mound for the Nationals, Kyle Finnegan. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. 
Here comes a pitch. In the air, right side. On the move. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch. Man, he's going to want out. that one back, no Instead doubt. Jose Siri stands Siri. in for the Phillies. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. And ball the first one. pitch misses for ball one. And I would say that most great defensive outfielders, it's kind of natural. There is some work that you can do to it uh, to improve your game. But ultimately, you either have it or you don't. One down, base is empty. There's one guy that I can think about, Boo, one ball. who started as a right. third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold glover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals. But he, this one's into the outfield. Could be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second, and he's in with a stand-up double. He was all over that one. Now that Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the ball straight to it. That's great work right there. And now the shortstop, Trey Turner. Right through there for a strike. Yeah, some guys just have instincts, right? I mean, that's the way it goes. We talk about Larry Walker, the Hall of Famer, and his instinct on the bases, despite the fact that he didn't play a, a ton of baseball as a kid. Next offering ball. is down low. Remember Mark Kotze, he was a real good defensive outfielder. Good instincts, not great speed. pitch that That's one bolted. just misses yeah and I figured you would get caught say into this because you had a free dinner at his house the other night that is true on the ground right side sends it to first and they get Turner for the out so a well thrown slider like that one can be tough to get in the air good the down break right on that one second base hit. with now the number two Merrifield. hitter Whit Merrifield Here's the strike. Two outs with a runner at third. Out to short. Abrams throws the first. And that is that. So one hit is all they get. Five, six, and seven will lead things off in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Philly six and the Nats one. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth, Sir Anthony Dominguez. Ladies and gentlemen, this is his your first appearance of the season. Now pitching for the Philly, number 58, Sir Anthony And it's Dominguez. the catcher for the Nationals, Heber Ruiz. The catcher, Dominguez, 6'1 righty, 225 pounds, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. The pitch just oh, missed. Got a good eye there. Hard hit, right side. Takes it himself. One out, bottom of the nine. Fastball groove right down the middle. Now, Usually a lot of damage base. done with that pitch. A hard Ruiz. grounder, but he wanted to get that Garcia. ball in the air, maybe drive it into the gap. Luis Garcia digging in for the Nationals. Just yep, that ball missed. went out. And a pitch. That's ball two. 
Base is empty one away here at the last half of inning number nine. Next oh, pitch is outside. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. And boy, umpire did give him the call. I bet you if he throws it again, hitter knows he's going to have to swing it. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. Aye. That one in there across the letters. Aye. Swing and a miss. Three and two now. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. That one to first, Harper. And he handles it himself for the out. Up next to Washington. So they gather their final out. Lane Thomas digging in for the Nationals. a strike and yeah, that's a little high inside just missed two down nobody on Swing and a foul straight back. Dominguez is just one strike away. That one missed. Lifted to left, and that should do it. And he's got it. And the Phillies take game one of the series on the road. It's always nice to grab the opener of the series. You come into a new ballpark, and just sometimes things aren't as comfortable as what you've been used to. The mound doesn't look straight. The background isn't what you like, but they didn't let any of those things distract them. In fact, they looked like they were playing a home game. Excellent job to set the tone for this series. 6-1 is your final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding.